Hello and welcome. Now in the previous video I showed you how to run these little lights off a vape battery and two screws. But say you don't have a vape battery and maybe you don't have any screws and maybe you don't have any batteries at all. So let's set it up and get the lights to run off a USB. Now there is an advantage to run this from USB because it's USB normally pushes out 5 to 5.1 volts and three of these batteries is 5.1 volts. And the other advantage is pretty much every household has a USB. And this, hap this one here happens to be about two meters long and it came off a keyboard, a wired keyboard. What you do then is, well, keep that end because you're going to need that end. Stripped off the plug and you're left with these cables here. And in the previous video, still, I showed you that the two important ones are the black and red. The rest of them you can put to one side. You cut them off or tape them back or whatever you wish. And with this here you have a little where the switch is there's a little plate covering. Now the little plate is not glued in it's only pressed in. Now just remove the little rubber seal and prise open the little plate. We have a little screwdriver or something that can get in underneath it and prise it up. Work your way around gently, try not to break it and lift it up and there you have it. Now these are the two wires that are feeding the little LEDs but what we're looking for is we're looking for the connectors that connect the batteries. You can see this one here and this one over here and with a close look you'll see that it says B minus and B positive which B stands for battery. So what we need to do then is we need to connect your cable in there and we can run it from USB. With the rest of the cable stripped off, a little bit of heat shrink there, isolated tiny little bit of solder on the positive and negative, the red being the positive and we'll just solder it into place and then we can test it. That's one. And that's the other. So this is our this is the cable here. You can see it's nothing else. And I'll just grab a power bank just to show you. And what you can do then is you can plug it into the back of your TV, you can plug it into your laptop if you have a USB port on your And look at that. There we go. And there we have it working. Now the thing about USB power banks, they don't stay on all the time if they don't detect that they're charging a battery or they're charging something then they'll switch off. Because there's no battery in this it'll actually switch off after a couple of minutes. But if you're running it through your laptop or your TV or if you have a USB socket in the house you can use it that way. Now if you want to run it from a power bank what you'll need to do is you will need to put in the battery 
like it has to be a rechargeable battery and it has to be a 4.2 battery like a vape so put that into place and what you need to do then is you need to follow the circuitry around with this it comes from the positive down to here you can see a little cable down the side here and what it does then it follows it around until it comes to negative so what we can do is then we can bypass all this and just join two little cables to there and that will complete the circuit so that's what we'll do next so a little bit of little cable and a little bit of flux paste we'll just see will it hold That's one. Good. And that's it. So now we have the little jumper done. Push this in. There's the lights working. And then what we do then is we'll put it into the power bank and the power bank will charge and that will continue to run on the power bank as long as the power bank keeps running if you have a second power bank you can have that on charge while this one is in use I forgot to mention don't forget to put everything back together Put your little seal on. Just push all that back into place. Your little trap door. And then, if you wish, you can close it up. Now it'll be a bit of a tight one squashing it on that. If you, because if you're going to use it outdoors, it'll need to be as watertight as possible. But if you press it hard enough, it will. Now, because this little jumper here is bypassing, it's completing the circuit, you, you can't use ordinary batteries anymore. But if you want to, all you have to do is just pull that out of place and you'll be able to use regular batteries again, regular AA size batteries. Again, if you're not if you're going to use just ordinary ones, they don't have to be rechargeable, but don't plug in the USB if you have non-rechargeable batteries in it. Well, I hope you found this useful. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Drop a comment, like, share and subscribe and you'll find us on the usual social media platforms.